Hello friends. I'm going to go over some music vocabulary. This would be vocabulary for grades three through five. So the first card says ensemble, a group of people making music together. So for example, you could say my ensemble this year is chorus or I decided to be in band. That is my ensemble. Any group of musicians together is an ensemble. Composer. A composer can write choral music, orchestral music, band music, anyone who writes music. You can be a composer. If you compose a four beat rhythm, like do, do, day, do, do, you are composing music, you're writing music. An audience probably know this one. A group of people listening to or watching a performance. So what we often talk a lot about is audience etiquette. For example, if you went to a rock concert and you're smushed in with a bunch of people screaming and that kind of thing, that would be a different type of audience etiquette or audience behavior than we would have for a choral program or a band program at school. Conductor. The conductor is the person who is leading the group. It doesn't necessarily mean the director. For instance, I could be the director of the band, but have a guest conductor. The conductor is the one who starts the ensemble, ends the ensemble, gives them, um, communicates with them through their hands and their facial expressions. And sometimes we think of conductor as like the person on a train, the person driving a train. This is the conductor, the music type conductor. A pitch, how high or how low a sound is. So I might say, oh, what pitch do you start on? And they would say B flat. Um, or is it a high pitch or low pitch? Okay, so pitch is a definite frequency, a sound with a name. Improvise. We do a lot of this in general music. You might not even notice it, but we might improvise words to a song, add a word somewhere. We might add a short pattern after we speak something. Anytime you're making music in the moment, you could improvise movement. Like if you're singing a song and you'd be like, oh, let's add some movement right there. How about this? Well, you just improvised movement to that. Interval, the distance between two pitches. So for example, if I went bum, bum on the piano, bum, bum, that would be a very small interval because they're right next to each other. If I went bum, bum, that would be a larger interval because it was the distance between those two pitches was further. Tempo, how fast or slow music is moving. Um, basically, the speed of music. You might like music that has a faster tempo. You might listen to music that makes you want to dance or move quickly. Um, everybody has their own preference. Slower tempos you're going to find in orchestral music, sometimes in instrumental music. Um, less common in the stuff you're going to find on the radio. And that's why sometimes it takes a little bit more patience to be able to attend to music with a slower tempo. Meter, the arrangement of rhythms into groups. Okay, so this is a little bit more advanced, but if you're listening to music, first thing you would want to do is just keep the steady beat and feel it. You might feel it as like twos, one, two. That'd be meter and two, or sometimes you feel this. One, two, three, one, two, three. So you're gonna feel the meter in threes. It's usually either a two, or in threes. 